Hi, I'm Susan Waters from Exceeding Joy. Our scripture this week is 2 Timothy 1 verse 6 to 7, which says, Therefore, I remind you to stir up the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Today, I want to talk about a sound mind. James 1 verse 6 to 8 in the New Living Translation says, But when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in God alone. Do not waver, for a person with divided loyalty is as unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind. Such people should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Their loyalty is divided between God and the world, and they are unstable in everything they do. This is why it's so important to deal with the lies of the enemy, so we have a stable mind. Hebrews 11 verse 1 in the Amplified Bible says, Now faith is the assurance, or the title deed, the confirmation of things hoped for, divinely guaranteed, and the evidence of things not seen, the conviction of their reality. Faith comprehends as fact what cannot be experienced by the physical senses. Some people try and work up faith, or they pretend they have faith, and, and sometimes they try and convince themselves that they're in faith when they really aren't. We don't have to do that. It all starts with our connection with God. When we make that connection with God a priority, everything else falls into place, and He leads us from glory to glory. I have one challenge for you today. List any areas where you're still struggling in your mind. With each area, connect with God and talk to Him about it. He imparts truth. When we have a revelation truth of, of truth, freedom comes. So focus on your connection with God, your love relationship with God. Enjoy it. Because as you connect with God, what you will receive from Him will be incredible. And it will transform your life. So bless you as, you're, as you set your mind on the truth and receive from God as you connect with Him. We'll see you tomorrow.